Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 3rd, August 3rd. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid, right? And this is just a message from my guides. So, one more thing. If you have sent me a request for a private reading, I have them in there. I've got about 50 of them. And I am going to respond to the ones that I have. But then I'm going to take a break, again, from accepting them. I'm just starting to get caught up, so bear with me. Um, so, August 3rd. <sighs> August 3rd. Now, this is the Eight of Cups. It's the Eight of Cups. The desire for a more meaningful life. Realizing that it's time to move on. Choosing to make my major life changes. We're not going to take it because I just I didn't even really get a chance to shuffle, but it did jump out. So it feels like we have there. There could be a flip out. Okay, just saying there could be a flip out. You know where somebody is thinking about it was reversed. They're thinking about walking away, and things have been. Um, Boiling under the surface, things have been festering, there's been a lot of tension. All of a sudden, somebody flips out and they actually do walk away. So keep that in mind. This is for the third. Somebody could also be thinking about going back. They could be thinking about going back to something. Right now, they're in thinking. Um, they're in thinking mode, but they're really thinking about choosing a different direction. So... Either way, that's what the card is about. Choosing a different direction. Queen of Winter. This is the Queen of Swords. Strong, patient, self-sufficient, funny. Let go of people or things that no longer serve you. Now is the time to focus on your, on your career. Unmarried or divorced individuals. This is people that choose to go their own way. This is um, a desire to go your own way. I'm going to focus on my career. I'm not really going to focus on a relationship right now. I'm going to focus on me. So, and, and the Queen of Swords can be very, very aggressive. She's, you know, this is an energy of, you know, I don't, I don't need anybody. I don't want anybody. I'm good. Very strong, very patient, self-sufficient. So we have a very self-sufficient individual here who is thinking about leaving some somebody or a situation because this is this is too bothersome for me. I, I don't need this. I just don't need it. Um What else do we have? What else do we have for the 3rd of August? What do we have for the 3rd of August? <laughs> the strength card. This is it's a time of strength, willpower, discipline. Courage. So, so, and this is the courage to let go of something. We have a very strong individual here. It looks like this person is really, really restraining themselves, you know, at ease with who they are. Very comfortable, very graceful. King of Pentacles. Very career-oriented. We have somebody here that is very, very career-oriented. Very focused on their money. Very focused on their job. Very practical, cunning, and clever. Solid and stable. We have somebody that has the skills to build an empire. It's like, I, you have the skills. With discipline. You need discipline here. Hmm. Oh, the Empress. The Empress. Could be dealing with a Taurus. Leo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra. 
Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Queen, Queen of Pentacles. With the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles and the Empress card. We're dealing with some Earth energy here. This is Venus energy. This is also a match made in heaven. This is the birth. She gives birth to a new life. Wow. Knight of Pentacles. We got somebody coming in with, a, with an offer, and this is a solid offer. Very, very solid. This is stability. This is security. Somebody has been planning, and they've been saving. They have been saving, and they've been waiting for the time to deliver this gift. With, I don't know. This is absolutely a gift. Absolutely. Oh my God, I just shuffled again. Knight of Pentacles. I can't even make this shit up. Um, so yeah, we have something really, really... We have a golden opportunity here. And that is no joke, okay? We have a new opportunity. This is the new opportunity to build something starting from scratch. But to build something starting from scratch. I mean, that first card was the Eight of Cups. You got to leave something behind. This is somebody that is needs to find that backbone to follow through with a task to, you know, build it. We have a creator here. This is very, this is a creator. She can create, she can grow anything. She has a lot of life experience. We have somebody here that has a lot of life experience and they, not only do they have life experience, they have the ability to create. They have this creative aspect within them. Not only is this person creative, this person is very grounded, realistic, practical, very skilled, very disciplined. With the, with the discipline that they need, they will be successful. All of these cards are upright, by the way. Wow, this is this is very and it's funny. It's time to work on your career. This is definitely has to do with career. It has to do with focusing on your business. Somebody may be cre deciding to, you know, create their own business. Here we have the Ace of Swords. New idea. Somebody's going to take getting some sort of new idea. Oh. Seven of Pentacles reversed. Six of Pentacles reversed. What the hell? This is mostly Earth energy. Absolutely. Somebody hasn't been getting paid enough. They haven't been getting what they deserve. And they're thinking about going their own way. So this is absolutely about career. If you have your own business, you may you may be... Uh, Coming up with some, some some sort of new idea that is going to increase your abundance. But this is doing something that you have never done before, the Page of Pentacles. You know, and following through, even though you don't know, this is working out the kinks. So it looks as though we have somebody here that is probably deciding to take their experience this is experience and start their own business and if you are very experienced I'm, to, I'm here to tell you you've been doing something for a long time and you've learned from it you have the skills you have the know-how you have the ability to create something and be very successful it will take discipline it will take a lot of discipline and it will take a lot of hard work, but your hard work could could bring you in all kinds of money because in these nine cards, we have all kinds of money here, all kinds. That's if you put yourself first and you find the patience and the strength to basically do it yourself alone. The Queen of Swords, she works alone. It's basically like, I can't, I, I know that if I want it done right, I'm going to have to do it myself. Oh, the Hierophant reverse. This is take the less than a tra traditional approach. Go in it with blind faith. Believe in yourself. Somebody, there's, we definitely have Taurus very prominent here. So, just saying. We do. 
So it feels as though we have somebody that may come in and, 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 you know, you may end up, some you may run into somebody and you have a conversation and all of a sudden this new thought pops into your head. Oh, I could do that. I could do that. Or you could be getting sick of where you're at. Okay, you're sick, you're sick of it. You just want to leave and you got this new idea. You got this thing that you can create. You've come up with some new vision and it's a perfect, perfect, perfect time to react. It really is. Slow and steady wins the race. With planning, make a goal. If you come up with a plan and you make a goal and you actually follow through with it, oh yes, you can be successful. You absolutely can be successful. I feel as though we have somebody here that is coming up with a new idea. They aren't getting the money that they or the revenue that they thought that they were going to get. And they're about to take a new approach. I think this is going to come in as like an epiphany. You're going to get some sort of epiphany. It's like you're, you're, you're at your work and you're sitting at your desk or you're sitting in your vehicle. You know, you're sitting there and you're thinking about your money. You're, you look, you're checking your bank account or whatever. You're thinking about how you can create something and all of a sudden, boom, here it is. You get this epiphany. Okay. Somebody is going to be creating something new. And whatever it is that they put their mind to, it is going to be successful. I can see that. I can see that they're not getting they're not getting the pay. They're not getting the money that they should be making right now. It feels like there's been some sort of financial loss here. And that's what maybe we have somebody here that is brainstorming. I'm not sure what's going on. But it feels like we have somebody here that is you know, really finding their, a new way. It's like they, they come up with this new idea and they decide to, you know, grow it. You know, it's a time of growth. It's a time of fertility with the Empress right here in the middle. So it's a very fertile time to start a business and grow it. Okay. So if you have some sort of creative uh, idea that has popped into your head, I would say that you should jump on it, take a leap of faith, don't let fear stand in the way, believe in yourself, even if it's it's less than, uh, you know, it's not very, it's not normal, but who the hell says what is normal with this, with this hierophant reverse, you have to believe in yourself, it doesn't matter what anybody else says, take your idea and run with it, run with it. Because I'm telling you right now, there's an opportunity for a lot of money to be made here. There's also an opportunity for two people to work together. I mean, the king and queen of of pentacles, this is a soulmate connection. This is like a power couple. These people, they don't quit. They work long, long, long hours. So expect to work long, long, long hours to be successful. You know, if you think about the empress when she's pregnant, you know, she's pregnant. That's the way it is. You deal with it. You know what I mean? So I feel as though there's a new opportunity that is is coming in. And I think it's probably going to come in, you know, through your thoughts. But I think that with a lot of planning and goal setting, it could absolutely be successful. So this is what this day is about. This day is about focusing on your career and, you know, planting that seed so that it can grow. It's actually, um, this is planting seeds and this is planting seeds. So it's planting your seeds someplace else so that it can grow and materialize. And I have to tell you, with hard work and discipline, it will materialize. It will materialize into a complete blessing because she gives birth to a blessing. When the reward comes, it is the reward of a lifetime. It's life. It's a whole new life. So if you have this creative idea that pops into your head within the next day or two or it has popped into your head, I'm here to tell you, do it. Do not let society or maybe there's religious factors here. Maybe there's reasons, you know, people won't believe in me or people won't, people won't support me. The universe supports you. You support yourself. Let go of people or things that no longer serve you. 
now is the time to focus on your career. Unmarried or divorced individuals, this is somebody who is very, very self-sufficient, man or woman. The flowers they bring. Oh, there's a card behind it. Ooh. Interesting. I didn't, didn't even know that. I just see it now. King. Ooh. Must be, they, you know, I've used this deck a lot through all of my whole segment. My whole August segment. All those readings, my daily vibes for the last week, I've used this deck. So, yeah, we have, we definitely have two people that could work together and create a new life because it takes two to create this new life. So we have two partners coming together. We have two people coming together and probably creating a business that could be extremely abundant and emotionally fulfilling because the Empress is the goddess of love and abundance. So we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And the, these are this is this is a power couple coming together and creating a business that could prosper into something very very abundant. And it's funny because I had an idea this morning. But this and I thought of somebody to do it with too. Unbelievable. Um, it was a it was a retreat. It was a healthy retreat thing, but I'm not going to spill my beans as of yet because I'm you know I'm just not going to um, get advice from someone professional and objective. Public speaking, public speaking, unbelievable. Unemotional relationships. King of Winter, knowledgeable, experienced, fair-minded, and unemotional. So we have these people that need to take their emotions out of it and get real, get practical. It feels as though these people are very focused on their career and their business and, and you know, their ideas could really create something, create something abundant, but you, you're going to have to leave the emotions out of it by the looks of things this isn't about love this is about hard work this is two people creating a business or working together and succeeding so if you got this new idea and you got a person in mind I suggest that you make your pitch it could absolutely positively work out good luck